Oh, with a 10 minute time limit. Introducing on my right from Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing in at 228 pounds, Sonny Rogers. His opponent on my left from Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, a world heavyweight champion, Terry Funk. The introductions having been made, that's Sonny Rogers going up against uh, Terry Funk, the NWA world heavyweight wrestling champion, Terry Funk, 252 pounds. He's been champion some seven, a uh, little over seven months now. There's the $10,000 NWA gold and uh, diamond uh, studded belt. Waiting for the bell. And both men. Of course, this is a very important match for Sonny Rogers. Tremendously prestigious match for him. Uh, Terry Funk, the world champion, obviously the favorite here. And... Uh, Quite a chant there as uh, the fans here uh, talking about Dusty, the big dust. Rogers realizing full well that even if he does, good, beautiful, high waist lift takedown, good ride. Rogers back on his feet again. Might just say that uh, Rogers, of course, has two elements going for him. If he can hold the champion to a draw, he's gained a tremendous amount of prestige. And should he upend the champion, and which would have to be classified truly as an upset, then uh, uh, it would catapult him into wrestling fame. Into the ring ropes, referee calling for the break. Terry Funk catching uh, Rogers on the break. Funk uses those massive forearms as sledgehammers. Referee Frenchy Bernard watching carefully now. That's the way the champion now chin locking his man as he also has the arm underhooked. So Rogers now, a lot of problems. Funk, of course, a member of the famous Funk wrestling family. His father, the late Dory Funk Sr., an outstanding wrestler known as the king of the Texas death matches. His older brother, Dory Funk Jr., was world heavyweight champion for four and a half years. Terry Funk, the first younger brother ever to win the world heavyweight championship. First time that one family has held the championship in two different, uh, in two brothers. Terry Funk, an extremely versatile competitor. Difficult to believe that this young man graduated from high school. He weighed a scant 155 pounds. Rogers catapulted out of the ring. Rogers coming up very, very slowly outside the ring. This is the thing about Funk. He asks no quarter and certainly gives no quarter. Funk, much wilder than his uh, older brother. Dory Funk Jr. was known as Mr. Cool in the ring. Very rarely lost his temper. Uh, Terry Funk would have to be classified as the uh, a, a, a typical angry young man. A headbutt by uh, Terry Funk that has uh, Rogers back outside the ring. This champion will do anything to maintain his title. And also, I think he feels uh, if he can psych out an opponent, if he can uh, deliver as much pain as he can to an opponent, anytime he wrestles a man, uh, he feels he has it that much easier if he ever has to meet him with that title at stake. Excellent move and reversal by uh, Sonny Rogers. And Sonny Rogers... Obviously took the champion completely by surprise here. Rogers now has the pressure on that arm. So Terry Funk, world heavyweight champion, having his problems now.
Terry Funk, now obviously trying to set new strategies. He's found out that Sonny Rogers, capable of taking a great deal of punishment. Ooh! Rogers caught across the chest and caught again. And Rogers in a lot of trouble now. Those two chops across the throat. He missed that one, and, uh, but look at this funk. Great recuperative powers. Swung around, caught him into a hip lock. Good backslide by Sonny Rogers. Has the champion a near fall for Sonny Rogers. Good arm drag takedown. Another arm drag takedown by Sonny Rogers. Ooh, that one almost tore Rogers' head off. Caught him right across the jaw. Funk brings him up a vertical standing souffle. Crash down on his head. A count of three. A count of three and Sonny Rogers right down on the back of his head. No, no shoulder impact there at all. He caught him directly. And there you see the winner parading proudly in the ring now, the highly controversial world champion, Terry Funk.